it is nice to have an opportunity to visit. Hmm. Co-creating at its best, really, we mean that. Taking thought to new places. Getting closer to that brink where thoughts turn to things. Yes, that's fun. That point of manifestation, you like it best there, don't you? So many things to talk about. You bring a lot with you. You're an active clump of humans. <laughs> it's good. We see this as perfect timing, perfect attraction, really. We're gonna have some good conversations and some new revelations. You'll feel them. They will be to the degree that you can allow them, but they are specific for you. It's not some big announcements. It's just those things that you're ready to hear, that we know you're ready to hear. So we'll say it in a way that you'll be more likely to hear it. And you will, you will. Sometimes as we begin these gatherings, we talk for quite a while to warm you up, but you feel warm. You feel ready to go. You feel ready to go? Yes. So your work is to do your best to chill. You have been setting forth your intentions and we've been aware of them. And the momentum of your thoughts is still pitched perfectly for us. So worry not, you don't have to get your long list out and focus hard. Just sit and feel the way you want to feel. Reach for feelings of clarity and feelings of well being and feelings of new and feelings of confirmation. Expect what you want to know to come to you and expect it to come easily and expect it to come in unexpected ways. Now that's a twist. Expect it to come in unexpected ways because we have to sneak up on you. When you get all ready to hear it, you get all full of yourselves and you do that thing you do that doesn't let you hear it. And so let's just have fun and get every single thing you want all queued up. It's going to be a wonderful new year for you. We can feel it. We can feel it because we know your vibrational offering. We know your vibrational reality. We know that vortex that you have already set into motion. We know it better than you know it because we don't block what's in it with our noticing of what's not here yet. Your what is keeps you sometimes not a vibrational match to what's unfolding for you. And it's not that it's not unfolding because it's not ready. It's not unfolding because you're not ready. And the way you feel, the angrier you are, the less ready you are. The happier you are, the more ready you are. The more eager you feel. A few weeks ago, we asked a group on an online broadcast, what happened to that feeling of anticipation? That feeling of good things are coming and I'm all queued up for those good things that are coming. That's what we want you to foster within yourself because good things are coming and you might as well be one of those people who sees it coming and anticipates it and then is right there queued up for when it rolls in so that you can savor every little bit of it. So what do you want to talk about? Ah. Oh. There's a lot of trouble in this room. Not as much trouble as some rooms. We're appreciating you for being here. We're appreciating the clarity you're asking for. And we are looking forward to what happens next. Start right here. We are extremely pleased that you are here. Every one of you. It's, it really is a good thing. It is co-creating at its best. And you don't really know what that means yet, but we do. The combining of you in your physical form out here with what you're thinking about, how life has been coming to you, how you've been adapting to the life that is coming, all that it has launched for you. What is happening in your life is causing asking that would not be happening otherwise. And that is such a good thing. And then your inner beings have gathered too. You may not know that, but they have come along. They're eager to have this fun with all of us here today. Non-physical has you way outnumbered, 
way, 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 way outnumbered, but then that's always the case. And that, friends, this is not an insult, but that's why things go fairly well for you. Because there's a lot of source energy backup that is 24 seven, always focusing in anticipation of wonderful outcomes, even when you're not. Your pessimism, your negative anticipation can slow down the good times for you, can give you some sleepless nights and keep you from feeling frisky, which is how you mean to feel. But well-being is very, very strong. We want you to recognize that, maybe not right now, but by the end of this day, you'll feel it as we do. You know what you're looking for here today? You've come to contribute, we know that. You always do that. You've come with some clear asking, some things that have sort of caught your interest, some things personal, those are really the best. Those things you really are feeling about and really knowing about. That's the best thing for you to talk about. But there's nothing off limits here. So as we find you in the mix and you sit, you are invited by us to talk about whatever feels feels like what matters most to you and what matters to you matters to us because you are an extension of that which we are and you came to mix it up in variety and contrast in order to establish clear asking because the entire universe evolves by that way new causes new requests and new requests cause new asking and new asking always causes new evolution and new expansion and new answering. It sometimes is not allowed by you though. It's so interesting. You would say unfair, but nothing ever is. So interesting how often the asker among you is the one that summons so much resource, but often that very asker deprives him or herself of the receiving of the resources because you're so determined in the asking of more to present your case for asking. Like you really have to justify your asking with the suffering or the shortage that you're living. And that's fine for step one, which is asking. In other words, that's where more asking comes from knowing what I want because of knowing what I don't have. But when you're asking from that place of not having and defending and justifying and keeping that lack active within you, even though your ask is answered, you miss it because you're not on the vibrational wavelength with the answer. The question and the answer are different vibrations. The having of wanted and the missing of wanted are two very different vibrations. And so it's a different mindset here in this land of law of attraction where in every moment you step into a field of attraction, just like a field of gravity. And it is relentless and that's a good thing. It is punishing. Sometimes it feels to you and rewarding. Sometimes it feels to you, but you're the one doing the punishing or the rewarding. It's up to you. So we're here to help you understand how it works and help you to maybe define what you may be doing that may be letting in what you're asking for or maybe keeping out what you're asking for. It takes a little while to get used to this because most of you have been calibrating to other humans, which means if you were a normal kid, you look to your parents often usually mom and you pleaded a very needy case to her often in order to get what you wanted and she we love her so much caved often you just wore her down and in letting that happen she gave you a totally screwy perspective of the way the universe works if someone pleads their case and you give in, you're not operating as the law of attraction operates. 
because the law of attraction doesn't provide someone who feels like a victim with what that victim feels like they need in order to not be a victim Jerry Esther's dear heart when they first hooked up with us he said Abraham I have this really good idea I hope you like it he said again a lot of thought to a lot of these things he had so many questions it's really why we're here he had so many questions now you're asking them he had so many questions what he wanted to know what about this I think incarceration should go like this there should be islands of incarceration and all the murderers should go to one island and do it to each other and all the rapers should go to one island and do it to each other thieves over there liars over there all manner of despicable should go to specially chosen islands and we said it's how it is now and Jerry protested no it's not how it is now everybody shows up in the same big house and we said really you live on these vibrational islands how you think is how you feel and how you feel is what you get and if you feel like a victim if you feel like a victim those who share your island who've benefited by co-creating with victims they can sniff you out a vibration away he didn't like that very much but as time went by he came to acknowledge that that is how it is we want you to feel secure and sometimes you want to say well then give me a reason and we say you want to feel secure because feeling secure feels good and you say yeah 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 but I need a reason to feel secure and then I will feel secure and we say well then you're gonna have a lot of trouble because if you need it before you can get it how are you ever gonna get it well maybe you could give it to me Abraham <laughs> maybe you could give me the security I need and I'll just keep it going in fact many say I think that's how it should have been I think it should have got all lined up just right for me before I got here and we say but you are creator you said I'll go into the variety and I will choose from the variety and then I will line up to my choice and in that clear energy I've decided I'm determined I am focused I'm in alignment with that the law of attraction will bring it to you in lots of different ways and that's how it works we've enjoyed this interaction immensely <laughs> we hope you did too there's lots to talk about here today did we say that there's nothing off limits there's nothing off limits wait let us sniff around a little <laughs> there's nothing off limits what do you want to talk about oh there's a lot of trouble in this room <laughs> especially a good room full of trouble one of the best rooms full of trouble that we have seen in a while stand if you think it's you further back right here wait 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 everyone sit everybody sit down okay so here's the way it goes we're going to point at you and you're going to know it you're just going to know it sometimes after everybody sat back down somebody stands up that was never standing that's hopeful we admire that but okay so but we are going to sort it out because there are specific vibrational reasons that we are specifically picking who are specifically picking in the specific order that we are picking it yeah standing on your chair doesn't help getting other people to vote for you doesn't help in other words it's just all right so stand if you think it's you yeah it's you wait all right not you see it didn't have to be that painful but if you like this video don't forget to subscribe we'll see you in the next